Well, hello there once again, and welcome back to Dredge here on the backlog. We're continuing, and uh, I've done a little bit of grinding because we were close to it. So we have the stuff. We can just upgrade the hull. Yay! We have a tier three hull. And this is super great because now uh, I can add in all of the stuff from my storage because it's almost full again. So let's see here. One more engine space. Definitely the four more cargo spaces. So let's grab this and these big chunguses. Get them out of here. Come on, drop in, please. Good, good. Uh, let's see here. Done for that one. And then um, rod spaces. Yeah, let's put rod spaces in next. Oh, all I have is this, so it doesn't matter. Just fill up everything I can with this. Because I need it all anyway to progress <laughs> my upgrades. Oh, perfect. I have all of the scrap that I need. I just need a ton more lumber and a lit to have four more lumber. Five, six, seven more lumber. Eight, nine, eight, nine more lumber and two sail. 10, 11, 12. 12 lumber and three sail. Not to mention all the stuff for the next hole, but that's going to be a while. Okay. So we've got a nice new boat and look how big it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I did, I found uh, some wreckage that has a, uh, a valve engine, which is actually better than uh, this peculiar engine and uh, slightly better than this improved outboard engines. Anyway, so I threw that on there and uh, we're good to go. We've got a couple of messages to read and then we'll get off going looking for new islands because I think we're done here for right now. We will come back. Yes, fisherman's note. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Cascadal seal broken, fog core. Five equals rise. He knows. <laughs> okay, artifact manifest. Vessel SY Grand Prize. Mr. Mitchell Schultz, Gale Cliffs. Oaken Music Box, purchased from the Antiquarian at Little Morrow for a bargain price, previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism, pending inspection by a locksmith. Wooden mask, carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protect from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set, bone china, six cups and six saucers, acquired from an eastern dealer. Do not use. <laughs> it sounds like we're from Warehouse 13 here. Yeah, if, if you smell fudge and there's no fudge, don't use the cheese tea set. Jar of Earth. <gasps> I've got a jar of Earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. 9th of September, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I'll find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I'm still so desperately bored at home when he's away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. And then, uh, before. Yesterday was, uh, was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious, I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I can't help but feel it's some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I can't recall. Oh, no. All right. Let's get going. Oh, yes, and check the crab pots. Nothing of consequence. Good, good. We want to get all the way over here to the Stellar Basin today, so we're going to hit these along the way, maybe see if there's anything important over here, and then uh, hit some ports over this way. Let's go. Forward and onward. Let's see what these are. 
Okay. Oh, it's a tiger mackerel. We've had these before. Nothing too terribly special, but there's still some coastal and shallow water fish that I still haven't been able to find yet. What do we got over there? Okay, we got a little bit of wreckage. Looks like we might find some timber over there. We'll 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 come back. Was that a dog? I've got monkeys. I'm hearing monkeys. I hope I'm not the one going insane. Okay, where are we? We're making good time. Good. Oh. Red in the water. Ah, uh, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave. We're gonna, it's going to stay there. We're going to check this out, though. Ooh. A slab of rock cuts above the waves. What is this? There are four large, powerful fish. Shapes carved into its face and four great fissures running through the rock's base. Hmm. Yes. Yes, four great, powerful fish. It looks like there is a, a hammerhead shark. Maybe four different types of shark? Or maybe it's just four of the same shark. Who knows? We will discover that later. I really wish I could leave messages on the map. Be like, hey, here's a thing right here. Check it out next time you're you're around. Ooh, this one looks new. Oh, I missed it. No. Ah. A red snapper. Oh. And there's a... There's a little something. Something, something here. Okay, where where do I dock? I dock all the way all the way over here. Or up that way. Let's go up that way. It's not lit. Which is very unfortunate. Hello? Am I going the right way? I am going the right way. Okay. It just doesn't feel like it. It very much feels like there's nothing here. Oh, is this our friendly um, traveling merchant? Oh, no, it's a research outpost. Generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. The laboratory's in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Equipment on the table. There are some strange-looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note that reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuation to fort. Where do you want to look? On the floor. You look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into... Why, why are we doing that? Oh, for loot. You pluck them from a gouge in the floor. Where do you want to look? I'm leaving. Well, we can finish the versatile rod. That's great. Oh, abyssal and hadial. This one is a harvesting platform. Look at that fishing speed. Woo! And uh, coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Mm, abyssal, hadial, and oceanic. Ooh, very nice. Now, let's talk about engines. I've got one more. This gets us a little bit faster, 26, but it's big. It's a big chungus. So is this one. But this one is small and just adds a little. So I'm, I'm going to go for this one next. It's going to take a while before we can get there. Uh, let's rest. Yep, let's rest. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see what this area has for us. Oh, it's got a bottle. Oh, and it's got anglerfish. Abyssal. 
You don't have the right equipment for abyssal fishel. Well, let's take that. The 14th of September has been added. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's grab these real quick. Oh, more spectacles. Lovely. And here I've got these fish going on in there. Um... Oh, that is very abyssal. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that abyssal. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, big long fish. Big old fangly fish. Come here, you. I'll take a bunch of you. I need more money. Okay, those are big long fish. Let's, um... Let's grab one of these. Just so it's in the log book, you know. Yeah, a coral grouper. That way if we get a... A message saying, hey, you need to go get a coral grouper. We'll know where to look. And this, again, looks like our traveling merchant. Yeah, it really looks like the traveling merchant. The Starlight Platoon. Yeah, here. Oh, that's a lot of money for those fish. I like those fish. Yeah, and I've got a lot of this going on now. Look at all these. I got two of each of these. What do we got in here? Oh, you know what? Actually, I should buy parts. This thing. This thing. Yes, I need this. $540? Because then I can go volcanic, shallow, coastal, and mangrove. Neither, none of which is here. We're not in this place. Either way, I'm going to need this hydraulic rod. So let's grab this. Yeah, now we can do oceanic. This will add mangrove and volcanic. So we don't need this until we go to the volcanic area. Uh, which also means we should probably sell this. And sell this. And we could probably sell... Oh, we can't sell this. We're stuck with this. Whether we like it or not. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Let's go explore some more. Oh, you are very glowy fish. Oh, and you've disappeared. Alright, so there's one more here. We'll, we'll explore around here, check this out, dock here, and then tr try to get back over to Great Morrow, and then we'll go up this way and check out... We're, we're just gonna... Yeah, this will be the Grand Tour episode, everyone. The Grand Tour. I would really love to find... No, I've already got one of those. A bunch of wood. Big old pile of wood would be great. Ah, I keep doing that. Ah, no. Ooh. Oh, that was a hard one, but yeah, the sapphire ring. <laughs> Tricky. Yes, give me this. One. Two. I need 13. Three. Good start game. Good start game. Let's keep working on that. See what we can get. And let's just go over here real quick. These look new. Uh, maybe not new. 
Not new. Nope. But maybe we can get... Uh, oh, I just got a steam achievement. Lifted from the deep. Oh, and there's a bottle. Okay, cool. Oh, it is very deep down here. Here we go. To the fort. Where safety abounds, I'm sure. The researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Uh, who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you had to look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. <laughs> in fact, uh, I could do with your help if you had the time. Uh, yeah, what do you need help? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted to the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and been making do as best I can, but had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Uh, take a look at this list of specimens needed. Uh, please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Yes, I've not seen glowing octopus, aurora jellyfish, and a firefly squid. Oh, we've got to use the net. I need to get a net, apparently. Um, yep, yep. Anything else, uh, new? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying, before... Before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I I kept them amongst my papers. I, I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I, I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Yes. What about you? Oh, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You, you probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Station. And then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I could relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Is there anything else? Yeah, um, I'm good. I'm good. We don't need to worry about that fortressy thing. It's fine. Let's rest. And we're going to wake up a little bit early. So we can get... Going, ah. Uh, what's the chance we can make it all the way out to here? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it, we're just gonna try. Ooh, dolphins. Hey, dolphins. Hmm, it's a whole island over there we're gonna ignore. See, we've gotta make it right to the end of that, I think. Ooh, but there's a thing there. I can see it. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing fine on time. Let's go check out and see what this is. I'm sure it won't make us be in trouble. Oh. It's another one of these guys. You approach a hooded figure, 
deep violet robes mask their face completely. Fisherman, feed. The person appears to forget the rest of what they were about to say. Feed the mouth. The hooded field figure reveals to a scroll. They gesture to a picture shown at the top. It's a tarpon. Okay. We'll send you a tarpaulin. Later. No, that looks like what we've already gotten. I can see our destination. We're going to make it. We're going to survive, maybe. Ooh, yeah, this one looks new. What? When shape aligns? Oh. I got... Oh, that's new. Okay. Well, that wasted a lot of time. Oh, my. Quick! To the lights! Not those lights! Wrong lights! If we stay along the coast to the deep sea, fangly fishes won't find us. Maybe. Possibly. Well, well, we made it. Yay, we made it. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the new one. That's why we're not. Yeah, okay. Okay. We are all the way up here. There is one little place we can stop by over here. So let's go check it. Yeah. And see what's going on in here. It feels very welcoming. Oh, I need a mangrove net. Oh. Oh. I'm getting insane just being in here. During the day. And the mushrooms are hard. Oh, hello. Hi. Yes. Goodbye. Forever. Oh, I don't like that. No. Let's grab this quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Hull damaged. Oh. So this is not a nice place. <laughs> yeah, go this way. <laughs> you think? Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, look, there's an airplane. Oh, cool. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger. From that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local pledges. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things and do things. I'd ask for a safe passage away from here, but not until uh, after I've avenged my squadron. Yeah, what happened to him? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offers us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the friends, the fiends, and the forest. And I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? I can, I can help. I can help? I figured you'd bow for it. Oh, uh... Have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. 
and we used that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Hm? Uh, how will you honor your squad mates? Hmm. I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... Uh, you must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I would add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one, in good faith. I'll give you more for each tag you bring in. Hmm? Yes, okay, good. Um, all right, cool. Fantastic, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and rest at least for a while. Let's just all day. Good. And then plop that into there. And take off again. Okay. So we are, we are really filling up. Oh, one right here and one right over here. We are really filling up, um, the pursuits here. Yeah. Look at all this. Catch a tarpon. Oh, we've only got a couple of more spaces on there before we have to start overlapping things. Does this need uh, explosives? Yeah. I gotta get me some explosives. That would make things very handy. Ooh, a broken monocle. Oh, nope, mine sucker. Nope, 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 no. Nope, I'm out. Thank you. I have a lovely whatever you call life. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to explore these real quick and then I'll come back here and then we'll make it back home. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Some good stuff to be found here. There we go. Another research component. Let's... Oh, no! It's another one of these crabs! They are so crabulous. All right. All right. You have fun. <laughs> I found another one of those before. And uh, you freaked the snot out of me. Uh, rightly, as it should. There's some dog tags. All right, and you know what? Wouldn't it wouldn't it be just perfect if we could get back to safety across the open ocean of doom? Oh, I see you, big glowing red blob. You just stay away. Nobody likes you. With your glowing personality. Stop it. Oh, there we go. Found some dog tags. Here you go. Mm. I thank you. I'll hang on to them on the tree. Yeah, as promised. Hmm. Yes. Nope, that's it. That's all of it. Let's do some more research. Yes, we are one away from the jet drive engine. Uh, that's probably going to be very expensive. But it takes up very little room, and that's what I'm super excited about. It can fill in all those little nooks and crannies. Hello, good sir, tugboat sir. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. 
There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Uh, who goes there? A uh, fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Morrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, escaping mouth just below the boat. I would have swallowed this festival whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver it. You would? Oh, well, that would work, I guess. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Morrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Oh, I'm not supposed to be transporting life because I don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Oh, it's a book. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I like books. And then while we're here, let's just quick grab this. Another broken monocle. We've got so many of these to sell the guy. Sell to the guy that uh, buys trinkets. And a chain. And let's let's risk it for a biscuit. And grab this one too. Another monocle. Okay. I will risk it for money. Oh, you know what? I need my lights on. Thank you. I see you red, angry, horribleness. I also see you, tugboat of doom. I'm just, I'm going this way. Let me alone. I'm going to make it to safety and nothing you can do or say will stop me. Because look, I'm here. <laughs> oh, we made it back home. Good. All right. We're going to hit Little Morrow. Then hit Greater Morrow, and then we're gonna check out this little, this little red light that keeps popping up. That we keep being told about. Actually, we may do the little red light on the way there, cause it's, no, it's over this way. Okay, I got turned around, we're good now. Actually, Oceanic, yes. Our first oceanic catch is a shark. Oh, and it's a weird shaped thing. Oh, oh we are definitely playing Tetris now. The oceanic ones. Those are cool. And we're gonna grab these. Oh, dock worker. Hey, buddy. How's the day treating you? Got a package here for you. I believe it, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Oh, let me see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hand. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, my friend. Now, oh, well, excuse me. Wish me luck. <laughs> he turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. That's not nice. Here. Hold this, bronze whaler. I need this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And I'm going to leave these rings just in case. They seem kind of important. These all we've got duplicates of, so we might as well send them to the trader. Sell all the trinkets. Thank you. Now to the fishmonger. 
Yes. Oh, those are $90 each. Oh, yes, please. Perfect. And the shipwright. Oh, not the shipwright. No, uh, we got to go to the dry dock. Because I need my four more spaces. Yes, I do. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, then uh, let's see here. No, this one needs more of that. That needs everything. Okay, we need one more wood and we can get another lamp. All right, cool. Let's see. We've unlocked some stuff. Yes, this right here. This versatile rod. We'll need this. Because this is going very slow. Perfect. I love it. I wouldn't change it. Uh, to storage. There we go. All right. So now we can go in all of them except for Abyssal and the other one. And Oh, yeah. And, and some of them can only be collected by, by dredging. So we're missing that, too. And we are one... We are one research away from get. I could get another light. Hmm. We are one research away from getting these jet drives, which is good because then I've got two. Two other spaces. That I could fill with engines. And things are coming. Yeah, I've got two other, two other spaces and probably some more spaces over here that I'm going to fill up. We've got a lot of things going on. Oh, we almost have... We have over half of the coastal. Over half of the sh uh, the shallow. All right. One last thing to do here on this episode. Is dredge for this shape in the deep. A relic. A key. Mmm. An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Oh, lovely. You know where we need to go with that, though. So I guess there's two more things we need to do. Get over here, you shark. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can go drop this off this episode. Here we go. Yeah, we need to we need to go get some dynamite for that too. Oh, do we get to unlock the shed over here with the big giant key? ruined mansion. He went to the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. <gasps> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers, a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now something seemed changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Now go. I have more relics to uncover. Ooh, ability unlocked! Haste! My intuition tells me that the Kerns may have carried some debris to the southeast, toward Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, yeah, no, we're good. Thank you. 
But we've got haste now. Haste aids speed uh, to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Select uh, it with E. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. What is that sound? I don't like that sound. Hold on, let me do this real quick. But I don't like that sound. I just want it registered that I don't like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my panic is... Panic is going real high. Oh, oh I like it, though. We can get places now. All right. Well, thank y'all for joining me. This has been a very... Oh, wait. Hold on. Everybody shut up. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walked towards the docks with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like. I'm, I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. All right, now we're going to end the episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because this is a great little game. And I'll play with you again next time, here in the backlog.